point three point two. Uh, the question, the first question is, what is the mean of the sampling distribution of the means? And what they're getting at here is that um, you know you got a data set, you got a column with numbers. If you calculate a mean from a column of numbers, that mean has a slightly different distribution. The mean is x bar. The you know the mean like where you add them all up and you divide by how many there are. There's nothing tricky about that. The mean is is the same as the population mean. Okay, so the mean of the sampling distribution of the means for this problem is 172. It's the same as the population mean, but the standard deviation is different. The standard deviation of the sampling distribution for x bar, and maybe just a quick little anecdote of what that means. If you were to make, uh, if you were to calculate one uh, one sample mean from your population, then calculate another sample mean from the population, and get like 20 or 30 sample means all in a column, then that's the standard deviation of that column is going to be roughly the square root of, uh, oh wait, so now that would be sigma, uh, either one, uh, the population standard deviation divided by the square root of n. I was going to do the square root of sigma squared, but that's way easier to write like that. So that's the standard deviation that they're talking about. Uh, so for this problem, our population standard deviation is 29, and the sample size, that's a 9, not a 4, and the sample size is 36, so square root of 36 is 6, they made that nice and easy for us, so we got 29 divided by 6 makes 4.83 repeating, and it looks like they want 3 decimal places, so I'm going to type 4.833. Can hit these check buttons too. But, uh, three. What is the probability that n equals thirty-six randomly selected individuals will have a mean weight of at least one hundred eighty pounds? Um, okay, so they tell us that it's normally distributed. What that means is we can calculate a z-score, and then we can use that z-score to help us turn it into a probability. Um, we got thirty-six individuals. Uh, we're wondering about the probability whether it's at least 180 pounds. So we can use the z-score formula for sample means. And that formula says you take the sample mean you're hypothesizing, which is 180 for my question, and subtract that by what the population mean is, and then divide by the standard deviation of the means by the population mean sigma over the square root of n. So if you plug in those numbers, uh, we're hypothesizing a, a mean of 180. We want to see the probability of getting 180 or, or larger. The population mean is said to be 172. So from the first part of the problem, that's what goes up here. And then we already calculated this, this number right here, right? That's this number right here. It's 29 over the square root of 36, so 29 over 6. So that will give us our z-score. And then I'll show you. You can just use an online website instead of using like a, the table in the textbook. It's a little easier that way. But uh, what I do with these problems is I calculate the denominator first. So 29 divided by 6. And I'm going to copy that. I'm going to hit Command C on my Apple computer, or you could use Control C. So I've got that copied. And now let's do the numerator: 180 subtracted by 172. And then I'm dividing and pasting that denominator value. So I got 1.66 when I round uh, z scores. Usually we just do. Um, oh, they want three decimal places. So I'm going to do 1.655. That's not a probability, right? Because the probability is between 0 and 1. That is a z-score. We want to type in Google z-score to percentile calculator. Um, this one isn't the one I usually use, but we can probably use it. That type our z-score in here, 1.655. And then it gives us left tail and right tail probabilities. And if you remember, uh, they asked for the probability that n equals 36 randomly selected individuals. 
will have a mean weight of at least 108 pounds. At least means like this is the smallest amount it can be. We want a right-tailed probability. We want it to be greater than or equal to 180. So we want a right-tailed value. So that's that's a percentage. That's not a probability, okay? 4.9%. Actually, here, that's not... Yeah, that, that's exact enough for Zy books. 4.9% is a decimal, 0 0.049. That hits the third decimal place like we're looking for. If you need it to be more exact, though, uh, just use one of those other calculators. Okay, so I think that's it for 4.3.2.